welcome back to Fat Ness and our Ruthers. In this time we're doing an unboxing of Gloomhaven. It's about time. Like, I, uh, I had to back the second version of this game, so luckily uh, it happened to, you know, come back because otherwise I would never have this game. And it's here, and by god, this game alone weighs around 60 pounds. Like, uh, well, hold on. Hold on. I can tell you exactly how much this game weighs because I was tracking it. And give me a sec. Because, why did I say 60 pounds? It weighs 22 pounds. I thought in the original box it was going to be a bunch of other boxes. Nope, this game alone weighs 22 pounds. Don't know where I got 60. That'd be insane. Uh, yeah, let's just, I, don't, I have no idea what to expect here. Um, so, let's just, uh, jump right into it, and, uh, oh, and of course, it is, oh my goodness, taped at the bottom, and I don't have my knife on me, because I didn't think I was going to need to, uh, because it's not wrapped in anything, um, okay, I got a knife now, uh, uh Jesus, I'm, I'm just, I don't even know, because it's just going to tear the box. Um, kind of worried that it, that it might. Well, I mean, it shouldn't. If there were... Okay, it didn't so far. Um, let's just see. You can't even really see me, can you, behind this game? Uh, yeah. I... <gasps> okay. Still good, still good. All right, still good. Yeah, while uh, while I'm doing this, I will um. Ah, Jesus. Okay, Gloomhaven. This one does it even have something for me to peel off? Like I didn't even. Oh shit! Did you hear all that? There we go. There's that. Okay. Um, that's probably the best I'm gonna get. Gloomhaven is a cooperative game of tactile combat in a unique, evolving fantasy world. Now, I can... Okay. Finally, see what... Oh my goodness! Ugh. Oh, oh my good. Oh my good. Okay. So. Uh, the first thing you're going to see is the rule book. And uh, this is 50 pages, and I honestly, in a game like this, I didn't expect any less. But if you would prefer to watch a video explanation of the rules, please visit the, oh hey, you can scan that and I can learn it that way. General icons on the back, alright, scenario level, cool, cool. Uh, let's see how this rule book looks. Yeah, there's a lot here. Um, party sheet, finishing. A scenario, yeah, this is a, uh, a lot of text. Very, very daunting. Um, whew. Yeah, okay. Table of contents, but it looks like it's broken down in a pretty decent way. Alright, so that is the rule book. 55, no, not 55 pages. Still less than Sword and Sorcery and a way better game. And I could iron it because it's ranked 2. Then we got... Whatever this is. Uh, this looks like the scenario booklet. It is. It is the scenario booklet. Uh, I kind of wish it was more hardback. Or at least it was not this flimsy thing at the beginning. Uh, a little bit harder. Maybe not hardback, but how many scenarios are there? There are 95. 95 different scenarios in here. Jesus Christ. I'm not even going to look at those because I'm already overwhelmed. Okay. Then we got the board. Yep, we have the board, which, ooh, oh, this looks like, okay. So this is kind of what the board looks like. And uh, I gotta say, it doesn't actually look like much, but if I'm not mistaken, I think I know, you know, a little bit about this. All these different dots are either scenarios or encounters you can have. Um, and global achievements up here, as well as your prosperity down here, Misty Thee, and then Gloomhaven, the actual town, uh, 
yeah, that's what that box is. And I guess you can go out and have a, a, adventures. So, uh, rule book material feels nice. Uh, yeah, this looks like it just got off the press. And then we got some, oh, some stickers, some location sheet stickers. That's what those, that's what those look like. And uh, so that may, that may be put onto the board. Here are some, some more location sheet stickers, and there are a lot of them here. And it looks like that, like 33, yeah, these all add just more things. Infernal Throne is one. You got the Battlements, that's nice, that's nice, the Battlements you want to go to. Tribal Assault, right, right there, that one's Tribal Assault. Uh, yeah, so these might be the different scenarios, because it goes up to 95, so it may be 95 scenarios. Um, maybe I can 100% confirm that. Uh, let's see, very last page. Yeah, oh, 95, yep, yeah, 993. Did I say 93? I don't remember. I'm kind of overblown by all this. Global achievement stickers that go up at the top, and you got stuff like the voice free, all right, the voice silent, okay. Uh, it looks like um, these might be different uh, different choices that you can make. End of, uh, end of corruption, ancient technology, ranks. So, got some stickers, which, yeah, I've heard that this game evolves and changes. I wonder if you can continue playing it, though. Um... Yeah, I have a bunch of shit to punch out, so we're gonna, just going to jump to that. Okay, I just spent the last uh, uh, probably 30, yeah, 30, 45 minutes just punching all of this out. There was like 16 or 17 different punch boards, and this is everything that you have to punch out. And I got to say, uh, this is a lot of stuff. Um, not just like you know, a lot of, you know, tokens and stuff, like, a lot of individual things here. Um, I'm gonna go over what I think is the coolest, um, starting with the, you know, the most basic. Basically, here is your, your currency, so you have your fives, and then your, your ones, um, so, so there's that. I mean, it doesn't denote the, the number on the back, which, I mean, it's not a terrible thing, it's just kind of weird how they have it like that. But there's a bunch of ones and not a bunch of fives. So I'm guessing you probably don't get a lot of money in this game. Um, I'm going to go over the tiles last. But i got to say that there, I don't think there are any miniatures in this game. Uh, and if there are, I mean, there's none for the monsters. Which is fine, I think, because if you... Sometimes if you get, you know, miniatures, yeah, they're there, but they're, you don't really get what the artists were wanting to show you unless you paint them. So, this right here and these are all different monsters. Like, yeah, there's, there's multiples of them, but you have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 34, 35 different creatures. I'm not going to go through all of them. I'm just going to go through the ones I think are... The, the cooliest. So, like, you have this guy. I don't know the names of any of them, but there's that guy. And the, I mean, they're the same on the front and back. Um, whenever it comes to monster tokens, I always think of Legends of Andor, where it shows the back of them. But this doesn't do that, and that's fine. But then you have this guy, and I already gotta say, I love the artwork. The artwork is absolutely fantastic. Um, let's see. You have... This guy, this badass thing with with the mask on and then the, the what weapon's he holding? Oh, an axe. Okay, cool. You have this golem here, which is which is pretty sweet. Here you have to fight the iron iron giant. Um and so yeah, yeah, I, I'm just I'm just blown away by how much is actually here, which I mean is to be expected from a game that's rated number two. Uh, right behind Pandemic Legacy Season 1. So you have that, then you have like, uh, yeah, you have these little cat people, which I think are are pretty neat. Like, at least I think they're cats. I mean, these are two different races. I'm sure they all have names and abilities, and just they act completely different than just, you know, at least... I mean, I hope so. Um, I, I couldn't imagine why they wouldn't. Then you have, I mean, you have some regular people, like... At least I think they're regular people. Yeah, yeah, so here's just like 
just a regular girl uh, archer. I mean, she looks badass. Like, don't get me wrong, the art is amazing. I should say, by the way, that the quality is amazing. If you go to punch it, you're going to have some, you know, fabric. Not really fabric, but some, like, uh, dust. They'll just have to kind of clear off. I have some on my table that I'll need to vacuum up. But uh, it was a little, some of it was a little bit, a little, bit, uh, a little bit tough to punch out, but other than that, everything went pretty, pretty well. You also get a wolf with glowing green eyes, so there's that. Um, plus, if these were all minis, then uh, this box would be twice as big and it would also cost twice as much. Um, I think these two things go together. It looks like, uh, well, yeah, they kind of look look alike. You have two versions of the same thing, like you have this one on the left that looks like it without wings and this one on the right with wings. So you have that. Uh, you have this sweet, I'm gonna guess fire elemental. Yeah, elemental, that's right. Uh, you can't really, I mean, you can't really tell, but it's it's there. Um, let's see, so that's, I mean, no, this one's badass too. Like, this Sweet, it looks like a wraith, a wraith, oh yeah, my shoulder just popped. Yeah, so the art is fantastic. Um, God, I hope there's bags in this or something. Um, and then you just have different types of, of terrain, like, like you have this, uh, probably pleasure, pleasure, uh, pressure plate, and then you have, you know, your, your barrel, and then there's just a bunch of different stuff. Oh, and did I mention that these are all front and back too? So here are some rocks right here, and on the back are actually bushes. So not only do you get, oh, and this was a barrel, and then now it's actually just a flat piece of thing. The pressure plate goes into whatever the hell that is, some nasty swamp. And so it's just, not only do you have all this stuff, most of it is actually front and back. So like, here's uh, a bush. Textile, and then on the back are um, bees, lava, might be lava, uh, and then you have like, oh well, okay, so not everything, but almost everything, so then gas or tokens, and then on the back it's also just gas, uh, yeah, then you have some sweet freaking, uh, yeah, pit, pit traps with, with spikes at the bottom, so those are just going to be there, and then you have... Also, up here are the health, I'm guessing the health, or the damage tokens. Um, then you have these, what look like portals. Just a bunch of different portals. So there's this one, and then they have numbers on them, but I don't know what the numbers mean. And so they're just different colors. You have purple, orange, oh, and on the, uh, on the back. Yeah, green. And they go up in numbers, so you also have some smaller ones here. The, this right here is a pile of, I'm guessing, statuses that you'll place on your, on your character sheet. Whenever you attribute one of those status is, uh, you have these treasure chests. So there's a gold treasure chest as well as a silver one on the back. Anyway, so that's that's actually a lot of that stuff. So I'm gonna have to figure out how I want to store. But now uh, we're gonna go through some of this. So you have this right here. You have this uh, tile, this big tile, and then on the back. So these are all double sided too, as well as the giant stack of actual tiles that you that you get and some of them are all actually shaped completely completely different like here this one already is shaped different than the rest of them and they're puzzle pieces so they'll all fit together then you have some that are T's and then you have double sided that one's just a regular one and then more T's there are some in here that were really cool shaped but uh, let's see if I can find one yeah like this one this one right here is you know, A-shaped, I guess, and on the back. So, I mean, not, I mean, these, these, most of them are actually kind of blank. This one has a, uh, looks like a, a, a cloak, maybe, a cloak up at the top, but a lot of them are actually just hexes, and not, not a whole lot of detail on, on the tiles, but I think that's why they have the different texture things. Um, but yeah, so you get, all of that, and all of this, and there's still still shit left in the box, so let's go back to the box. Okay, so now there is all of this stuff. So, it seems like they have some sealed letters. 
as well that I'm sure I'm not supposed to open. They have a A, B, and an X for some reason. So that's actually pretty cool. So actually, like, it's not actually wax sealed, but it's a sticker to make it look that way. That'd be pretty sweet if it was actually wax sealed. Then you have a party sheet, kind of like a little player thing. Uh, yeah, like a party player sheet. I'm wondering if this is for each person um, or for each game, because there's not that many here. So I don't know what that's exactly for. Um, oh, okay. This is interesting. You have a cheat sheet. And this, I wish this stuff like this was not paper. Like this is easily rippable, and I don't like that. But uh, so you actually have something that's like an alphabet, like a Gloomhaven alphabet that they've made up. Uh, so that's really cool. That's that's pretty neat. And then on the back is just the, the Gloomhaven cover. Sweet. Then you got um, some little, okay, enhancement stickers. So a lot of stickers in this game, and these are really tiny. Yeah, these are, these are really tiny, but yeah, there's like a bunch of them. There's some fire tokens, and then plus ones, and then some the statuses at the bottom, so that's that. Then you got this sealed thing of town records that I'm obviously not going to open, but little uh, ooh, oh, hey, and it, there's some story elements in there. Uh, okay. So foam, foam, foam. Uh, I'm obviously oh no, I, didn't, I probably wasn't meant to see that. Just put that back in there. But you got other packages that can be open. This one's kind of kind of busted. Who surprise surprise? Uh, so obviously I'm not gonna kind of not gonna look in that. But there are a bunch of these right in here. Can I fit that in there? Huh. There we go. There we go. Ooh, what's I want to open this one because it looks like the Triforce. So. Yeah, and there's also w waxed, so as if as if to not accidentally open it. All right, so let's get two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, seventeen. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, six. Yes, yeah, seventeen. All right, and then I like this foam stuff, this foam dividing stuff. All right. Because then you just get to see a bunch. Whew! Alright. Well, let's take a look at these. These, I think, are actually the new dials um, for health and mana, I guess. So, these are pretty nice. I guess the originals weren't, like, that great. So, these seem to be a little bit better, yeah. So, it ranges from, let's see, there's 0 goes to 26. Yeah, 0 to 26, and then the mana side also goes to 26. That's, a, that's an odd number, but these are actually pretty cool. I, I, like, I like the way that these look. Um, and easily spinnable. Some are a little bit tougher than others to spin. I, pref I personally like them really tough to, to spin because I don't like to have to constantly keep an eye on it and then accidentally move and, oh look, it's, it doesn't work anymore. Ah, oh man. Stands. Not even gonna take them out of the bag. Uh, these are these are pretty cool. These these are wooden, wooden little, uh, wooden little, you know, status tokens. So there's the ones that were on the enhancement sheet. So fire, wind, looks like ele uh, maybe element, element tokens. So there's a few of those. Um, I mean, yeah, this is just a bunch of stuff. So let's just go. Let's just go area to area. Okay. Ooh. Three, four. So you have these, these little holders. So there's six of them, but I don't think. I wonder why there's six, because you can only play up to four. But yeah, looks like there's these holders, like in these right here, with that have one through ten on them. Maybe it's for each individual person, and that's their level. Don't know why that would be the case. But you have that. And then, there we go. That's what these are. Thank God I got my knife. Got my little knife. Eh, there we go. Um, this is interesting, the way that these work. I, I wasn't, I gotta be honest, I wasn't sure how the enemies 
we're gonna we're gonna work but that seems to be what all of these are so like the one that I showed you with the axe um, Inox bodyguard is what they're called so this is what they their sheets look like and I mean yeah there is a lot of detail on this um, and I'm sure it goes off their level so level one uh, two three then four and at level four they do certain things uh, yeah well, that's level zero, one, two, and three. Okay, well, so it looks like they move minus one, attack minus one, and then two, move plus zero, attack plus zero, retaliate three. I don't know. And then they hit uh, maybe in that area. I'm sure it's going to make a lot more sense once I actually know the rules, but so you have that. Uh, what else did I show you? I didn't show you any of that. I didn't show you that. I didn't show you any of them. Um, I'm sure I showed you a, yep, oh yeah, I showed you the archer. Yeah, just a bandit archer that basically doesn't, doesn't do anything. I wonder if there's a back. There is a back, oh, it goes to go four, five, six, and seven, so that's, that's it, just get tougher and tougher. Level seven, she does 13, <laughs> she, like, she does that. Yeah, she does nothing special, it seems like, but maybe that's just her. Resistance? Wish I could tell ya, but I um, I don't know. Uh, but there are how many? How many were there? Because there were some I didn't show you. Oh yeah, a little mouse, and they the, these Inox bodyguards like so half of it. Yeah, these are all red and stuff, and then these just seem to be you know there's the golem right there that has a shield two and a shield one depending on which side you're fighting. Um, so not counting those, yeah, this is just, these are all different enemies. Oh, okay, here's some city archer and city guard that you can probably fuck with. But yeah, so that that's that. That's a big stack of enemies and the way that they react. So that's, that's pretty neat. I'm going to put all these back where I got them just so I don't forget. Then you have those. Obviously, I'm going to bag it all and hope I can put fit everything back in, but then you get a huge stack of cards like this. Jesus Christ. Ah, fuck me. God damn. That hurt. But, that's fine. That's fine. Alright, so here is a giant stack of, of shit. Is it based off of, oh my god, that's Stone Golem. So, it looks like he has his own deck of Yep, has its own deck of attacks, so with numbers on them, which might be the initiation. So like he has an attack like retaliate three, range three, and he has uh, maybe or maybe attributes that each you know round he gets. Like this one, he gets a plus one, but his attack is minus one, or his move gets plus one. And then this one, um, number twenty eight. He has move plus one, attack minus two, but range three, pull two, and immobilize. So, yeah, it looks like each of them has their their own deck. They do. They do. So this whole stack here, I'm not going to organize all of these because there's no point. Ah, oh, Jesus. Has just their own deck of attacks. I, I don't even know. I, don't, I like... This is insane. So they already have their own card, and their own status, and their own shit. They also have their own deck for full of attacks um, that you have to deal with and learn. Um, yeah, dear god. Dear god, what's the bottom one? Yep, living bones. This one's a frost demon. So there's, uh, there's a lot here. So, cool. I mean, that's, it is really cool, and uh, I don't even know where to begin with putting that back. Wait a minute, wait a minute, where did I pull this from? Did I, cause, oh wait, nope, I remember. Unless all this can fit in here. Hold on. It might, it might be able to. Yep, it looks like it, because there's another thing right there. Aha! Wait, wait, put it back in. Eh. No, no. Well, maybe, because there's all this shit that I also need to pull out, because there's that whole deck. 
Okay, well, no, nope, it looks like it all can't fit in there. So I'm gonna have to bag all of this. Um, I mean, I can fit everything back where it came from, except for apparently there's a reason why that one did wasn't in there. So let me just set this off to the side. I'm probably gonna knock over. Okay. Well, now there's more things that I can punch out. Or not punch out, thank God. But a bunch of this stuff. New new things. So like a magma pit and uh, a toxic moor. Just cards that uh, windswept highlands. 71. I don't know what the numbers mean at all. Or the M1K1, maybe that's where they go on the board. So special things that you can find, I guess, if the campaign or whatever goes your way. Uh, or whichever way you take it. I don't know how well the story is crafted, but obviously good enough to be number two. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, considering the size of the box, I shouldn't be surprised that there's all this in here. I half expected it to be miniatures. Like, and that's what caused the 60 pounds, the 22 pounds, but nope. Nope, that wasn't it. Wasn't it at all. Alright, so then there's stuff like this, like a streamline, oh, oh, maybe um, different objectives. Yeah, these look like uh, notices on billboards, like in Gloomhaven. So like this one is, uh, well, I can't even read it. Streamliner, have five or more total cards in your hand and discard at the end of the scenario. Protector, allow none of your character allies to become exhausted during the scenario. So I guess certain things you get if you protect, I mean, these all look, and they all look, yeah, there's no doubles here. So, they are all unique and different. Uh, purist, use no items during the scenario. Straggler, take only long rest during the scenario. Scrambler, take only short rest during the scenario. So there's a bunch of these that you'll probably be able to do maybe one or two during the, during the scenario. So you have that. Oh, I'm, I'm trying not to knock over that huge stack over there. Eh. All right. Dang it. Wait, there we go. Okay. So, are these all the attack? Oh, I don't even know what these are. I would look at the rule book, but I have all these tokens over here. Um, modifiers. Oh, well, there's different statuses. So, modifier. What the heck? I feel like I remember this. I remember... Rado doing a run through a while back. I think this was kind of the way, like how you how you attacked and how you dealt damage and what your initiative order was, or something like that. I don't know if these are even supposed to be separated, like what I'm doing right now. But what you gonna do? Yeah. So you have like these these types of attacks plus zero, and then uh, are these all zero? So these are all zero. So you have your zero cards, cool, cool. Then you have your green cards, which are plus two, plus one. I'm guessing these all get shuffled. Um, yeah, those are only plus two and plus one. Then you have your penalties, which are minus one. And then, yeah, minus two. There's probably like at least one minus three. There's not, so that's good, at least. Then you have your really nice ones, the times two. So you have some of those. And then you have these where you just miss all together. So, um, modifier cards is what I'm going to go ahead and call them. Um, which is interesting. Like, that's an interesting mechanic to employ. Uh, I was like, what, what went in there? I'm already losing my mind. I like how these all fit back in, in their spots, though. Okay. And I know these will fit back because they fit like this. So... Let's see what they are first. Ah, this is interesting. But these are probably all fucking items. Okay. With numbers on them. Okay, well, all the backs are the same. These are probably all items. All this, right here. And probably no duplicates. Okay, there, there's two. Yeah, but, yep, items, all items here, uh, god damn, god, oh my god, 
Boots of striding. During your movement, add plus two move to a single movement. Okay, it looks like that's probably the symbol down there to exhaust. So this is nice. The cost, this is simple, easy to read. One out of two. Um, footwear down at the bottom. I like it. I like it. Wing shoes. During your movement, add jump to the movement. So you can kind of fly. Cost 20. And then you exhaust probably to use it. Uh... Uh, let's see, a Warhammer, 30. During your melee attack, add stun to the entire attack action. And it looks like that uses two hands. And uh, this costs 30 to use. Oh, Jesus. And I, I'm sure you don't... Minor power potion. Empowering talisman. Weighted net. During your range attack, add immobilize. So, oh my god. Oh my god. Like, like a tower shield. Uh, when damaged by an attack, gain shield 2 for the attack. So, I don't know how powerful that is, but it costs 40, so I hope it's good. You have uh, Doom Powder. You have Rocket Oh my god, Rocket Boots. That costs 80. During your movement, add plus 3 move and jump to a single movement. So, that's pretty cool. So, there's some futuristic things in here. An Ancient Drill. Yeah, just some badass weapons in here. Um, and I'm obviously not going to go through all of them with you, because... I mean, I'm sure you'd like me to sit here and just ramble on about all, all the items that this game comes with. That is more than, um, like, almost any game I've, I've ever seen. God, I, can't, I honestly can't wait to jump into this, but, man, that rule book is going to make me poop myself. And those all fit right back in there comfortably. Yay! Slide this back over, except those. Okay. Oh, oh, special items! Like, ah, like, uh, that, that probably are, are scenario specific or choice specific because, I mean, why, what, what would this game be without, without special items? Like, like individual certain, there's no doubles here at all. Wand of darkness, create your, during your turn, create dark, uh, a steel ring when damaged by, an, sorry, I should probably show you some of this. So wand, wand of darkness. Looks like that. Um, and then you yeah, have boots of levitation. You can fly. So, so there's that. You can fly. Uh, and then you got uh, a, a, a dampen, dampening ring. Uh, before an enemy would consume an element, consume that element instead for no effect. So apparently you can consume el elements and, and do things. So, yeah, yeah, and they all have numbers on the back. I don't, I don't know, I don't know why, maybe that's like, hey, add this to the deck or something. Ah. Uh, so, so there's that. Is that just, a sh just more, more items that you, that I get to experience? Not you, but me, unless you have this game. Which, um, if you didn't back it, then that sucks. Because <laughs> I don't think it's ever coming out on, on retail. Like it should. But I mean, look at the size of this box. I don't even know how they'd house it. Uh, okay. And then here's this more. Oh, these are all unique. Well, these are these are new. But so you have some of these. I don't. I don't know what that symbol is. Um, skip and get shocked. So you have some of some of those massive skips, and then two two times with with those. Uh, and just regular minuses again. So, more, more attack, you modify our cards. Very confused on that. Okay, let's fiddle that back in. Oh, <sighs> jeez, okay. Oh, these are, I'm not gonna look at these. I mean, I will look at them, but I'm not gonna read anything. I'm gonna cut my hand open. Bleed all over my table and, and on this game. God, I never smoked. Okay, uh, yeah, so here are a bunch of city cards that look like they are, these are, the, this is like the story, so, or encounters that you can have. I'll, sh I'll read one, the top one. I don't want to read the top one, but there's, they're numbered and they go all the way to 81. So, well, yeah, let's read one, why not? 
Uh, you decide to unwind at the sleeping lion, but just as you are start starting to relax, a bear of a man crashes into your table, scattering your drinks across the floor. Towering over him is a massive inox. What did you say about my horns? The inox shouts. The man stands up and brushes shards of glass from his tunic. Yeah, I said the sight of it makes me want to vomit. The inox roars and charges headlong into the man, crashing through more tables into the process. At this, the entire tavern erupts into violence. After all, when a man is deep into his drink, the last thing you want to do is knock that drink over. And yep, option A, join the fray. These insults will not go unanswered. Option B, do your best to stop the fighting. This is a respectable establishment. And option A and B will tell you what happens. So I'm not going to see what happens, but... Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited to see that. So that's city events. Okay, then we got, looks like, oh, road events. Um, like almost as many, not as many, but there's, there's a lot here that can happen. All right. Okay, well, let's just read one. And by the way, this is just what they look like. Like, there's nothing special about them. That's why I'm not holding them up to the camera. <gasps> one of my cards is ripped. Go figure. That's annoying. Wait, is it? Eh, well. Okay, it's actually not that bad. Um, I mean, it is ripped, but, like, I think it was just an excess of another card. But I can still tell. Alright, let's see what the first road event is. Heading out a little late, aren't you? The guard at the wall looks at you passively. You grunt in response, mm -hmm. and head through the open gate. Nobody's gonna go look for your corpse, you don't return, the guard shouts at your back. You ended up embarking on the road much later than you'd hoped. Events in town saw to that, I'd like to fight in the tavern. But as dust settles on the horizon, you feel confident that you are up to any threat you might face. And then begins the howling of wolves, vicious foul beasts. And judging from their sounds, they seem to be getting closer. Option A, run from the howling to safety, or option B, let the wolves come. So... <laughs> Yeah, you know what I can. I feel like doing taking on a pack of wolves. This is. Let me tell you a little bit about who I am as a person. And then you got uh, these cards. So you got city events, road events, and then. Uh, oh no. Okay. Let's see. All right. Then you got a bunch of these, um, yeah, just, just, I guess it looks like, uh, um, objectives as well, like different, maybe different titles, like Finding the Cure, Lawbringer, Implement of Light, so like Seeker of Zorn. Even as a child, you could feel the call of Zorn. Once worshipped as a god, his flock has long since been destroyed and disb disbanded, but you can hear him calling. You will travel to Gloomhaven as he commands. You will find his remains and set him free. This plague will once again be embraced. Complete three crypt scenarios, then unlock Noxious Cellar. Scenario 52 and open it to a conclusion. And then you open one of the boxes. So yeah, okay, so these are, if you do these, it'll open certain boxes, which is probably more scenarios, more quests, just a bunch of more shit. So, that is that. Then, ah, uh, the last thing. Okay, that, at least I see. All right. Okay, so looks like you got player aids. Oh, player reference. Okay, this is nice. Just uh, what the what the icons mean right here. So these are nice, and then there's obviously four of them if you play with four players. Yeah, poison, wound, immobilize, disarm, stun, muddle, curse, uh, sheet. Yeah, and then different. Yeah, so shield, and then retaliate. Like up there, then you got. Push, pull, pierce, invisible, strengthen, and bless. Really nice, really nice to have. Uh, then you have all of these for what? The different freaking, freaking things you can fight? God damn. Uh, okay. Yeah, all of these. So what each monster... Oh, what? I guess what type of... I don't know what these are. Like, But it says stuff like frigid. And I guess if it's if like the air is frigid, these are the monsters that you fight and what space they go on. I guess because then you have putrid, infected, uh, scaled, ar ar uh, archaic, horrific. So different uh, um, adjectives 
for maybe the, the scenario that if you want to do. Then you got these different types of, oh, the different terrains, so like a burrow. Uh, yep, uh, that's just what they look like. I mean, these cards mean absolutely nothing to me because I have no idea. But then you have things, there was one I showed you. I did show you a T, I showed you the A. Yeah, like a dead end. So maybe these are just like also descriptions for the different scenarios or something like that. So you have those, oh, and then it goes A, B, C, or A, B, A, A, B, oh, I don't know. I don't know what the A's and B's mean, but you got, you got these cards that will come, come with the game. Um, so that, I mean, obviously, and then there's these little boxes that, I don't know what's in here, and I'm not going to open it up, but there's a, there's a bunch of, there's some boxes. Then two of two, and then you got one of two. There's different, there's those, and then you got all of, all of these. Um, yeah, uh, there's, I'm sure the rule book will tell me, like, which one to open, because I also, I didn't see any, um, of the characters that you can play as. So I'm sure it's just like, open this box and begin your journey or something like that. At least I hope. So how did this work? This went in like this, then... Oh, and then the standees fit right in there. Not like those cards, which I'll have to bag. And then these fit back in here like that. So that's nice. Then you had... Um, oh, oh, I know. Uh, maybe I didn't know. Yeah, yeah, it was like this. Okay. What was there? Stuff underneath. Oh yeah, there was those. So, you had this, and then, apparently I don't know how this, how this all goes back. Well, yeah, I think this is how it went. Because then you had that back, and you just kind of had this like this, and then this like that. Something like that. And then you just fit everything else on, on top, and then you're good to go. Like that, <laughs> um, but yeah, that that's it, everyone. That is an unboxing of Gloomhaven. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you guys this right now. Um, obviously, I'm gonna be doing run-throughs for this. Uh, I'm very much waiting for this to do with this as a series as well. The reason I'm saying this is because this is definitely going out before the first episode for the series comes out. I will most likely be doing this as a solo experience, so you'll get to just hear me and hear my beautiful jokes and, and my beautiful voice. Um, I may be potentially having one other person, um, just as I think it's easier for this expansion of a game for mainly it to be me, or if I have another person who's dedicated to doing it. Uh, yes, so expect that. Um, and then, uh, yeah, I mean, I'll most likely also do a review, or not a review, sorry, a discussion of this halfway through, because um, I do that now with my series, it's a mid-series discussion. So, just want to give you guys a heads up that that's happening. Uh, I mean, if you don't want me to do a run-through, too bad, because I'm doing it anyway. Uh, so that is an unboxing of Gloomhaven. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey everyone, thank you for watching and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you want to support us, you can go ahead and click that link to go to my Patreon account. If you have any suggestions, you can go ahead and click the link in the show notes below to go to my board game Geek, Geek List. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.